At its design center in Ingolstadt, Audi is presenting the second generation of the A7 Sportback. Visitors were delighted by the sweeping lines of the new design. The new A7 is a dynamic all-rounder. At first glance, it has the appearance of a coupe, but in fact, the A7 Sportback is much more versatile, offering plenty of space for a family. The chief designer says the challenge was to create a truly new design, which still makes you think of an A7, but really shows a new direction. The front grille of the new A7 is typical Audi, but it's wider and closer to the road than in the larger A8 model. Taking a closer look at the rear, you see that the spoiler has shifted higher up to create a sportier silhouette. Along with 21-inch alloy rims, this car is a real head-turner. Mark Lichte says they wanted to highlight the Quattro all-wheel drive in the design. For this reason, they've deviated from 30 years of Audi style and pushed the belt line down between the wheels to make room for powerful front and rear quarters. That way, the Quattro is made visible. A leading innovation as far as the chassis is concerned is the dynamic all-wheel steering. It combines sporty steering ability with handling stability. The steering varies according to the speed, actively engaging with the front and rear axles. The vehicle offers 39 driver assistance systems divided into three categories, city, parking, and tour. The interior is a seamless blend of design and innovation. New touch response technology does away with center console control knobs and old-fashioned buttons, replacing them with high-definition touch displays. The upper display allows the driver to control the multifunction infotainment systems. The lower display allows text input and gives access to climate controls and comfort-related functions. The back offers plenty of room and has a display that allows you to regulate the seat heating and temperature in the back of the vehicle. Audi chairman Rupert Stadler says the two big highlights with this model are the elegant interior, which is very modern, and the design around the rear, which is really sumptuous. The trunk opens quite easily, and despite a slim tapered rear, the storage compartment has room for 535 to 1,390 liters of volume. Mark Lichte says he loves the back of this car. The compact cabin sits atop a broad, powerful body and is underscored by a well-defined band of LED lights and vertical elements. The impression is modern, fresh, and forward-looking. Locking and unlocking the doors activates a flashing display of lights in the rear, giving this big coupe a dynamic look, even when it's parked. A new feature for the headlights, 12 slender, evenly spaced light elements. Rupert Stadler says the A7 will be released in China, but he expects it will be popular in Europe as well, and there is growing demand in the U.S. The new Audi A7 Sportback comes with a turbocharged 3-liter V6 engine and will be available from the end of February. The starting price in Germany is around 68,000 euros. <laughs>